Fall is the season of change. The leaves change color and float gently to the ground. The smell of pumpkin spice is in the air. A nippy breeze flows through the air, as I said with the pumpkin spice. You know, it has to travel through. A nice and wholesome and... Uh, I, I can't. Who wrote this garbage? You know, get, get this out of here. Jeez. Amateurs. Hello and welcome back to Celeste Tales with me, your host, Tony. And I brought a couple of special guests along. Can you guess which one's the most expensive one out of the three? Introduce yourself, guys. Oh, yes, the deadly silence has... Hey, y'all! <laughs> That's Aniwa here! <laughs> uh, Patty McPatterson of, of, of Patsville. Yo. Starring in his own his own uh, soon soon to come out uh, sequel podcast, The Paddington. The Paddington. Not to be confused with the Paddington Project. Mm -hmm. ah, thank you. Know, thank okay. you for that, that clarity right there. You know, my thank, name's Zero. Pat. Good to meet y'all again. <laughs> Good to yeah. meet you guys. We have Soto, Patty McPatterson, as I like to call him, Patty, and uh, Zero, the hero. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. And we're here to talk about just a couple of things we're expecting to come with the and fall now, season. You, you, you. Okay, first thing I gotta bring up. Oh boy, Crew Two in movie theaters. I'm really looking forward for that movie. I'm really really. Into it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, you know, you know the again. Croods that Croods came out too. like a couple of years back? Uh, I He just brought up that there's a second movie coming out, which I honestly forgot about myself because... Crew, you say? I don't. <laughs> I feel yeah. I don't feel safe. You remember the people living in caves? The cavemen? Oh! That family? That, oh, the Crood! The, the cave Croods! Mm. Mm. Yes. Never saw that movie. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Animated, animated. Okay, now I get you. Yeah. Yeah. They're about to come out with a second one. I didn't know they... Was it popular enough to get a sequel? <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know. Really, the movie itself did pretty well. And then they made a animated series on Netflix that did wonderfully. I saw that, yeah. Yes. It did wonderfully, and then it, that... From that, they was able to make a sequel to the movie. Makes sense. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, if it, if, it's, if it works on Netflix, then of course let's franchise it. Like, yep. Okay, so I mean, um, there's a, there's a little bit of truth to what uh, Zero just said right here. The box office, five hundred eighty-seven point two million. Really? Yeah. Well, what studio did it? Studio. Let me see. Dream so Soto's our our info dump girl. DreamWorks told me made it. Okay. Oh really? Oh. Well, here. DreamWorks. That's 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 not that surprising because DreamWorks actually has like a, a ton of deals with Netflix right now. Yeah. Just like we were talking a minute ago about Kipo. That's DreamWorks. Right. Uh huh. And you know he's about to drop from that literally this month. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about Kipo season two. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like we're about to get our mom back in season three. Season spoiler, three. man! Spoiler! Spoiler! Man, look at the trailer! <laughs> oh my god! Look at the trailer! I can't like, even. I, do that kind of stuff. <laughs> I can't even. You know what I can't uh, even though? Pumpkin spice lattes. That? Pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> we don't bring those up. I don't do. I don't do those. It's one of the things that no. come with fall. You gotta. It's one of those things you kind of have to talk about. <laughs> 
I mean, like, that it's pumpkin like, spice dough. It kind of like eggnog, but only reason eggnog is good because you put alcohol in it. I disagree. I, I like I like it without the alcohol, but yeah. I understand mm-hmm. why people need it. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, it, trust me, I know why I need alcohol in it. It's not like the holidays just you know are kind of a downer. Like okay, so <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything bad about Christmas, Thanksgiving, or even Halloween. But here's the thing, towards, it's kind of around this time when suicide rates tend to shoot on up. It's true. Yep. So, it's I mean, very true. Yeah. I mean, uh, what do you expect the weather outside going to get? Man, what's that song? How'd that Christmas song go? The weather outside is frightful. Yep. But the fire. The fire is so delightful. Not delightful. <laughs> as long as we... Love each other. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 okay. hey, stop, stop, stop. Taco stop. Bell, Taco <laughs> Bell. <laughs> we cannot pay for that song. All right? Yeah. We cannot pay for that. I can't pay for that song. We don't have. We cannot we don't have the royalties. Stop. Sorry. Uh, yeah. To, to finish up the end of it, as long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Yeah. So we so said we can't right. pay for it. <laughs> yeah, as my heart slowly <laughs> freezes over from the whole... Uh, Disappointment that comes with the the season coming. Yeah, mm-hmm. but we're not here to well, talk well, about let me winter. Ask you guys, let me ask you guys in all seriousness, because okay, I, I maybe I'm the only one that's that was born in November. Uh, I was born on the first, the day after Halloween. Mm-hmm. I tried as hard as I could to be born on Halloween, but my mom said no. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh. Uh, she said that I did try. I tried really hard. But, uh, anyway. Despite that disappointment, um, Halloween's my favorite, my absolute, most, most cherished holiday. Uh, because, you know, uh, I always got to go trick-or-treating, get a bunch of, get a shit ton of candy, and the very next day I got a cake. So I'm yeah. like, this is the best shit ever. <laughs> well, oh my god, <laughs> yes. <laughs> But uh, so, so despite the fact that uh, that you know, uh, I don't know what months you guys were born, but does the coming of fall season, uh, like autumn and winter, actually like make you feel more like? Does it give? Does it put a downer? And like, do you feel sad more often? Or um, for me, n- no. So like, like, here's the thing. <clears throat> Growing up, I've had you know. Thankfully, I've had a lot of, like, like really good Yes, you had a memories. lot of really good memories. I have school! <laughs> it's the beginning of fall semester. <laughs> yeah, so um, there's that. Um, oh. Which is perfectly fine with me, you know. Um, school's not so bad. I don't hate it. But um, the only thing I'm looking forward to is... Um, October because I get to cosplay and no one can tell me shit. <laughs> um, so that's kind of around the time when I get oh, to yeah, like, loosen oh, up yeah. and I can actually go to the grocery store dressed up as a character and no one can tell me nothing. <laughs> awesome. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how you feel about it. I'm really bothered by that stuff. I'm an introvert. I over here good with chilling by myself. I get a good game on, and then heck, I just do what I do. Yeah, I don't. So, mm. Yeah. So I think we're. I think the three of us are in a consensus of of like, it, like we actually do enjoy this season yeah. a lot. Uh, I'm curious uh, if our host feels the same. Yeah. Uh, personally, I have nothing problematic with fall. It was like. It was a time to kind of be expressing yourself and, you know, talk about the dark things no one else talks about throughout the the year, like spirits and ghosts and stuff. This is like where everything becomes normal, no matter what it is. It's there and Mm -hmm. it's proud. And I can get behind that. I bet you can. Yeah. I I feel you on that because, like, I always have had an interest in like the dark and the mysterious and and I kind of I don't know I was kind of resentful of other people who were like oh my god 
I love the summer because you just go out and it's so warm and nice, and then we go play in the water. We're just like, hee hee hee. And I'm just like, the summer's okay, but like, I'm sweating, and I don't like to sweat. I'd rather it be nice and chill, like in autumn time. And and plus, like, you don't, you people don't like to talk about dark stuff during the other seasons because they're like, why are you being so like gloomy? Or, or oh, before it was gloomy, and then it was, like, uh, depressing, but then it became uh, edgy. It's like, oh, look, check out the edgelord talking about vampires. It's like, well, I like vampires. <laughs> the fuck? There's <laughs> nothing wrong with it. I mean, like, um, so... Um, considering I'm the kind of person that likes to watch movies like Corpse Bride, Nightmare Before Christmas, uh, gosh, what else? <laughs> Um, I don't mind Hocus Pocus or Halloween Town or anything like that. Um, yeah, Halloween Town kind of like eh, for me. <laughs> you know what? You know what's really sad? I didn't know about Halloween Town until this year. Get out! Okay, that's really sad, bro. Well, well, th- in my defense, uh, I think the first one came out around the time that I graduated, and I didn't really watch Disney like that. And then when I moved out, I didn't have cable. So, but, yeah. uh... When you moved out, you didn't really know internet was just, like, a thing then. Yeah. Right. I, I was one of the first early adopters of cutting the cable line and going, just using, like, Netflix and eventually Hulu. But, uh, the one that I grew up with was Hocus Pocus. Hocus and Pocus. Yeah. I fucking loved that movie. <laughs> Which is crazy though, because don't forget, Hocus Pocus didn't get popular until like the 2000s, even though it was a later movie. But think about it, like, uh, I was born in 84, so like, when did Hocus Pocus come out? Like in the 90s? No, I think it came out, um, or did it come out around the same time? It was around the 90s, I'd say. Or late 80s? Right. Yeah, somewhere. somewhere. Why, why are we not Googling this? <laughs> okay, you know, Pat, Pat, hold on a minute. I got you, boy. It. Let me... So it's a 1993 film. Oh, yeah. 93. 1993. Wow. Yeah. Right. So apparently, uh, I must have seen it uh, uh, sometime before or after Jurassic Park. It was around that. It was around that time because Jurassic Park came out in '93 too. Yeah, it did. So, uh, so I just remember, I just remember Hocus Pocus and Jurassic Park being like, Jurassic Park more so was was a was a was more influential, but like, I, I, I often ask my mom like, where did I get my love for like vampires and ghosts and stuff? And she's like, I have no idea. I was like, it had to have started then. It had to have. Yep interesting concepts that you don't ever see ever before. Right. Mm-hmm. Now, I have mine since I was born. He was born in the shadows. <clears throat> Basically. <laughs> <laughs> well, Buffy the Vampire Slayer also came out. Uh... Shit, that was 92. Mm-hmm. Right. But at the same time... <laughs> At the same time, you, anime wasn't... I wouldn't say anime was that big. So you're more likely... It really to wasn't, watch. though. So you're Okay, more... anime wasn't that big, but anime shows were still hitting around that time. Right, no. Mm-hmm. I was, that's what I'm like. You're more likely to see Hocus Pocus before Buffy, is what I was trying to get at. Okay. Right, right. I mean, yeah. So you're right. I, mean, uh, like, there was I think some, I did see, even problems, though Buffy came out before Hocus Pocus, I think I did see Hocus Pocus first. Hmm. I never was one of those people that did see Buffy the Vampire Slayer, although I I don't know if I should kick myself or not, but it sounds pretty awesome. Well, the movie, the, the TV show was in 97. The movie mm-hmm. was uh, 92. The movie is kind of like a it's it's a it's a comedy horror. It's a dark comedy. I mean, you talking about the one, like the new one or 
<clears throat> Wait, new one? They made a new one of Buffy? New, yeah, they Buffy always make new, new one. things. Like, look at uh, Elucard. I, I thought it was like a remake, because, um... No, Captain no, no, no. One of the... No, but uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer in 92 was, was an original concept. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm aware of that one. But that one was a it was a dark comedy because like they had literal literally you had like kids in the gymnasium like with stakes I mean, through their hearts who like were dead, and the freaking principal is walking around corpses putting uh, detention slips on them. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I watch Angel, all right? So we... I liked Angel too. Yeah. I'll chill more with Angel's side than Buffy's side. In the breakup, mm -hmm. I, I went with Angel. Yeah, me too. I left a but I left Bucky behind. Buffy, Bucky, whatever. Which is a shame because uh I like Buffy still had some really great storylines. I mm -hmm. but I didn't like the breakup and I also didn't like the Seth Green left and I was like, screw this, I'm going Angel. Yep. All right. Well. But like. But I mean, other than like the shows that do come around, such as you know, the Thirty One Nights of Halloween that I think Hallmark does, if I'm not mistaken. So I yeah. Like the new animations that be coming out around this time, you know, the Simpsons. Hmm. Well, yeah. Halloween specials all over the place. Yeah. Basically. Yep. Um, and then after that, you can have, like, Thanksgiving. Um, and then, of course, after that, there's Christmas. But, of course, like, I was, um, I wish I was kidding. I had my, um, I had Bluetooth on in my car, and an ad popped up, and it was for Christmas. Are you serious? So, I wish I wasn't. We're, we're not even there yet. It's too early. That's my opinion. It's too damn early, so. Damn you, corporate America, and you're. So, so we, we got rid of Thanksgiving already. We were like, all right, we don't need Thanksgiving. Family means nothing. Bro, don't know, don't nobody, not a single person advertises for Thanksgiving. There are no Thanksgiving songs. There are no Thanksgiving cards. There's there's barely any direct any, uh, decorations. You might have like one show every now and then. Do like a Thanksgiving show. I think. Yeah. I think Tony probably mentioned this, but um, there was a um. I think Charlie Brown has like two Thanksgiving specials or something like that, mm -hmm. but I believe that that's just about it. And but of course, you know, there's you've got um the Thanksgiving parade that comes on. I don't even know how that started or you're, I think it might be you know, doing the parade Macy's Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that. There's that one. Um and and of course there's football. So I mean like. Oh yeah. I don't know. Dreaded football game. Ugh. I'm not really a football person, but I mean, <laughs> to each their own. Totally fine. Um, but yeah, that's totally. typically what I think about any time um, fall comes around. But I'm mostly looking forward to, like, the cosplay or dressing up and then mm -hmm. uh, just kind of being around with the family for the holidays. And I want to try to um, start building up, like, some kind of a small savings for... Um, for Christmas too, because right. around that time I'd like to see if I can maybe donate something to um, hospitals. Because I was watching. Um, are you guys familiar with Mr. Beast at all? The the really yeah. famous yeah. Like, to give away money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so. What's crazy about Mr. Beast is that he he doesn't even really have all that much money, but he he does like all these charities. It's crazy. Like how. Yeah. How do you not have like this money, but you're like giving away all this money? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever he does, man. He, whatever he's good at, what he does, whatever it is. Um. What's up? Go ahead. Yeah. Anyways. Sorry. Um, no, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's okay. Um, I, I just kind of lost my train of thought because um, uh, my brain went to like a whole bunch of different places all at once, and I just kind no, of lost I lost it. my <laughs> train of thought. <laughs> Everyone's lost. Okay. Um, but just aside from all those things, 
Oh, right. Um, Mr. Beast. Total, everything's coming back to me now. <laughs> um, what he did for um, for Christmas when... Yeah, Christmas. Beautiful thought. year was... But um, I noticed that in Houston, um, there's like mm-hmm. uh, a lot of like children's centers or like adopt, uh, not adoption places, but um, foster care. Foster care. Yeah, that explains a lot. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> you forgot the kid. No. Oh, do not listen to him. Merry, no. Merry Christmas. Yeah. I have a son or daughter. Yeah. No. Wait, 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 wait. Merry <laughs> Christmas. Wait, Merry. This this is my Christmas child. <laughs> oh, Who's no. and then tell me. <laughs> All right, so uh, why don't you introduce yourself, stranger? It seems <laughs> seems we picked up a straggler. Oh, we streaming now? Oh my god! You said nine? Oh. Yes. It's, oh, it's Malik. It's Malik. Oh, it's, hi. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Malik. Malik. That's what you want to call yourself. <laughs> How you doing? We're talking about... Uh, Who is your daddy? What does he do? <laughs> we're talking about the fall season and a little bit of Christmas because, in all honesty, fall season doesn't have much going for it. Ooh, whoa, whoa. That's the, that's the shame. Like, the, the worst possible thing that I can think about is that uh, no one markets to it because, like, it's it's one of the... People people stay inside and they don't want to... They want to stay inside so they have warm because it's getting cold. Mm-hmm. And they don't really want to spend money on stuff, right? So like, no one ever promotes it or advertises it because they're just like, man, it's it's a, yeah. You know. It could also be that um, it's just pretty much the time when you want to just get together with family. So I think it's already become the norm that maybe just no one really feels the need to advertise it. But you do see a lot of like fall decorations sometime mm-hmm. in like, September. I know that because my because uh, we all work in re- retail over here at the house. Well, two of us do out of the four. Yeah. Um, my mom was telling me that her store they already um, ha- they have like fall stuff up around September. Yeah, it's because se- September, late September is when fall actually starts. So we've already entered yeah. the mm-hmm. fall season. But uh, yeah, and a lot of oh, sorry, go ahead. No, oh, no, you should probably finish that one. Finish that one. Okay. 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 Um, and some of the decorations kind of include, you know, turkeys, pumpkins, um, you know, a lot of like fall stuff that you typically would think of. So, like as your intro said, falling leaves and chai latte, whatever. Not chai latte. Uh, pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice latte. latte. Don't get it mixed Ooh, yeah. up. We like chai lattes. Oh, I, I freaking love that stuff. <laughs> but here's the thing. So, people talk about the pumpkin spice latte and all the other, you know, fall yada yada. I like my tea, bro. <laughs> but uh, I just have to interject. Uh, I went to uh, Dairy Queen the other day, mm-hmm. and I had a uh, pump. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the pumpkin spice latte. Okay. Pumpkins. What did you have? In the How spice milk. As much high praise as I can give it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's every. That's how everyone feels about the the pumpkin spice anything. I don't know. For me, oh, uh, when it comes to like uh, smells or stuff like that, I, my first thought is in pumpkin spice. It's actually cinnamon. Cinnamon, I love the cinnamon like, yeah. or even whenever well, my you mom. You get that in chai too, so. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, there's that. Or even, like, when my mom is, like, baking, I don't know, that's when I start to feel, like, in the quote-unquote holiday spirit. I don't know. Nah. I Malik, don't favorite, favorite, favorite pumpkin, pumpkin flavor. flavor. Go. Pumpkin flavor? What the fuck? I barely yeah, like candy just corn. Just straight up pumpkin? I never got the concept Good answer. of <laughs> Fever. I mean, fever, feelings, none of that. I never got the concept. No. no. Have you ever Never carved a pumpkin? That. No. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I love carving pumpkins. It was messy. 
Uh, yeah. It is it's it's extremely sorry. messy. It's not that messy. Have you ever have you ever wondered what the inside of a human feels like? That's basically what the inside of a pumpkin feels like. Basically, I, I hope it's not. I hope it's not pumpkin. <laughs> like, I hope that's not what it feels like. Because I like carving pumpkins way too much. So my so um. Then you do me a favor, please. Record yourself sticking your hand inside a pumpkin. I want to see your reaction now. <laughs> Wait, what he said about pumpkin? If you want the full experience, heat the pumpkin up first. Um. Oh! <laughs> That's it. I gotta get it. <laughs> I need to see this dude now record himself sticking his hand into a nice warm pumpkin. Mm. Why's he gotta be warm? <laughs> Because because <laughs> because it's a fresh kill. Eh. Eh. <laughs> Just silence from. <laughs> no, the best part about carving a pumpkin is saving the seeds and then uh, putting those seeds in the oven. Ooh. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just not a holiday type of dude. Really? Y'all see, y'all see me throughout the holidays. Like I'm really like. <laughs> <laughs> like a normal day. <laughs> oh, honey, I can't wait to get my hands on you. <laughs> just another, just another day. Huh? So nothing happened. Yep. Yeah. So what is what is it about the, uh, the the fall season that that really speaks to you then? If it's not the holidays. No, no, just I just go throughout day to day. It just to see <laughs> like I'm more, I'm more of a nature type of dude. And Zero. The holidays is more about this looking at the scenery and seeing how it's changed. Like Zero. how the sun set literally sets later. I mean earlier now. You know? I actually like yeah, I do like that. I, I like that uh that uh we have longer nights which make things a little bit more interesting. Yeah. Or or mm-hmm. how like you can literally smell something different in the air now because of the cold mm-hmm. weather. So when the when the air is cold, you actually it feels like you have sharper senses. There's also something else that I'm sure we can all agree on: no freaking mosquitoes anywhere. Thank the Lord. I mean, <laughs> I am yeah. really starting to hate them buggers over here. Oh my gosh! Mm. I cannot wait till it gets cold and all, all the bugs just disappear. Hell yeah! You know I mean? Hot or warm, I always wear like. Jackets and pants and everything. I, I don't really wear that. Well, the the bugs around here have doubled their efforts because yeah. all summer long I didn't see a single damn bug. Mostly probably because uh, we've got chickens outside the the uh, the plant, and uh, they probably eat all the bugs. But I didn't see a single damn bug all damn summer. And then September came along and and it started to hit fall. As soon as it hit fall, bugs everywhere. They're like they're like crawling around in the in the factory trying to find somewhere to hibernate. <laughs> so, uh, what do you what do you kind of expect to happen around Halloween, guys? A lot of jokers, please. A lot of clowns. All you know there's gonna be jokers, dude. What the there's fuck gonna is that giggle, dear? <laughs> there's gonna be there's jokers. There's no way there won't be. Holly Quinn. Definitely gonna be great. Oh thank God for Holly Quinn. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, what type of Holly Quinns? Are we talking about sexual Holly Quinns or are we just talking about Holly Quinns in that freaking It's Harley Quinn, movie. what do you mean? She's also well, what do you mean? Uh, yeah. the one piece yeah. Holly Quinn was not sexual as the new Holly Quinn. Who? To be honest, it doesn't matter what Holly Quinn's wearing; she's always sexual. Exactly. And... <laughs> this is true. Hey. Okay. I don't. I don't know where people got this idea where it's like, uh, oh my God, the male gaze is like. You realize it doesn't matter what you wear; if you are female, we are looking at you. <laughs> no, it matters. It matters. It matters a lot. Matters. Well, I mean, the, 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 certain the things, the, certain, certain things are more enticing than others. I agree. But it matters on, on, on how it hugs the, the body. How does the uniform hug the body? 
Right. And that one piece did not do her freaking nothing. But I mean, there are people who, who still, I mean, there are people with different stripes. And there are people who still thought that uh, Velma, even though she was wearing like a baggy shirt and pants and with the big ass glasses, thought that Velma was sexy. So, yeah, I mean, it takes all types. I guess you're, what you're trying to say here, uh, uh, Pat, is sexy is in the mind of, is in the eye of the beholder of that. It, it, 100%. 100%. Yeah. No, I believe what he's saying and everything, but I just saying with Holly Quinn, that one piece did not do her justice. That's all. I don't. Period. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> to me, to me, I, I don't. I don't really see a difference because it's because she's still a beautiful woman. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's a yeah. beautiful woman. Period. We all agree upon that. But sure. the new Holly Quinn is sex, more sexual and more attractive to the eyes than the one piece. She Holly looks like Quinn. a harlot. Yeah, I no, can I say? <laughs> can I? Can I give you like a like a little uh, like little like story Harley. about this and? I, I don't have to tell it because I don't know how political you want to be on your podcast. Um, as long as it, as long as it shouldn't incite a type of rage that they come attack me, you're pretty much fine, you know. Uh, okay. Uh, I got an argument with some people about like they were they were talking about how uh, in Suicide Squad they're like, mm-hmm. oh my god, how dare they sex they sexualize Harley Quinn. And I was like, "Are you mad? She's always been sexual, like since the since her origins." And they're like, "The cartoon wasn't sexual. She was yep. in a tight ass cat suit." Yep. Yeah, that's the for the majority. And not only was she in a tight, like, okay, first of all, not only was she in a tight ass cat suit for the majority of the show. Actually, I'll guess but there was that it's one it's arc. Funny that. It's funny they mentioned that because I think that's the only other outfit that she's in. Is it a nightgown? Yes. That's she's literally in, she she's literally in a pink see-through nightgown on her knees, saying, "Come on, Joker, don't you want to ride your Harley?" Yes, she did that, and don't forget when she over here chill with Poison Ivy, and they'll yes, here. I was about to say that. Oh my god! That. So this like, is the cartoon, right? That's what you guys are talking yeah. about. Yeah. yeah uh, the original uh, Fox cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. I just got done watching that. Oh, but, oh wasn't this, it, I love that. I love it so much. It's so good. But uh, I mentioned that. I said, look, like, she, like, there's that arc where she's hanging out with Poison Ivy, where she broke up with the Joker. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. She, spent, she spent the night with Poison Ivy, and they both get up and have breakfast, and they're, both, they're not wearing anything underneath. They're just wearing uh, a long shirt. And you're you're left to, like your mind is left to wander. Like, is she wearing panties under that? Like, the sure as hell don't look like it. And and to me and many other adolescent young boys and some girls, that shit is sexy as fuck. And and these these women were like, that's not sexy. It's like, well, well, pardon me for finding that attractive. Then I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, you you cannot deny that since her beginnings, her very origin. She's always been sexy. She has. Cannot. That's just how she rolls. So, I she mean... Has, that was her main character. Hey, no matter what, that was always her main... Well, that was a part, that was a part of her character. Her main character was she was loony and crazy. <laughs> but, I mean, she was taking the Joker, so what do you expect? <laughs> hey, she was a better villain than Joker in so many sense. In some ways, she was, especially with the new, uh, the new series. Heck, she like, but remember what they said, Harley Quinn is. Yeah, Harley Quinn is a villain, but she is not a bad person. Mm-hmm. And well, she, she, she's not, she's not a villain she by choice. Make her a bad guy. Yeah, know? she didn't choose to be a villain. <laughs> she was, she was brainwashed by the that. Joker. And she kind of chose to be a villain. Remember her fa- Had anybody seen her family? Like, no. Literally, this was her yeah. history. She was always going to be meant to be a villain. Yeah, her family's pretty messed up, too. Weren't they in ties with the Mafia? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That was messed up. Then again, in, in, in Gotham, who isn't? 
like tied up with the mafia. Even the Waynes are caught up with the mafia. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, hey, Batman, your parents actually worked with the mafia. Yeah, how, okay, how, how, how do you feel about them now? <laughs> okay, I feel like we're getting off topic, guys. We're getting yeah. off topic. Fall. Well, fall. It, it's de- it it uh, it definitely doesn't uh, up. Right. So, uh, well, what about you? What are you? What are you feeling, uh, Malik? about the fall season and then we'll go talk about what we're um, probably going to do for Halloween. Like, are you going to dress up or are you going to call people and stuff? But Malik, what do you think about fall? Is it depressing? Sad? Joyful? Give me give me your thoughts on this. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do for, 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 for the fall. Uh, with a lot of the stuff that's been going on lately with with uh, COVID and stuff, like, I don't think a lot of people are going to be out here doing, like, Halloween and stuff. Um, I don't even, like, think well, a lot of people are going to be doing, I think people, people are going to be doing some stupid things just to, like, celebrate. I have no doubt about that. Um, uh, I think one of you guys, uh, talked to me about, uh, doing, like, a an online costume party. Who, who was it? Oh, yeah, so basically um, I put out something um, in, in the group chat just saying, hey, I'd like to have like um, an online costume party or something like that. I don't know, I was thinking it would be fun, and because COVID is still a thing, um, yeah, a virtual party is probably going to be the best, especially since I've got friends in like other states. That, that's all I can do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, I, like, I want to do a costume a party movie. so badly, but the type of costume I'm going to have to buy is really, how should I say, it will be expensive. And I'm going to do, yeah. I'm gonna do slash Halloween <laughs> costume and Renaissance Festival. Oh. And because oh. Of, yeah, because of COVID, it'd be kind of pointless to get it now. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could always just get a hazmat suit and just be like, "This is this is my COVID costume." I mean, if you have time, you can always make it. Yeah. Yeah, no, the type of costume I'm going to be getting, you you gonna look like me professional to do it. What is this? Well, I, hmm? I am sad that I like like I I normally go to my friend's house and uh, we hang out and uh, and we have cake at like one in the morning for my birthday, but. uh this year, because of all things that are happening, like I don't want to, I don't want to put anyone, you know, put anyone at risk by yeah. by a gathering, you know. No. Um, I think the uh, like a, a small gathering would be just fine, but it just depends on how many people you got. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, um, well, I shouldn't say unfortunately because it makes me happy to know that I got like a big group of friends, but at the same time. I don't know about getting together, especially since like COVID just kind of got real for me and my family. Cause, mm-hmm. um, I've got a cousin, and she now has COVID. <laughs> I just found that out oh. today. Well, hope she pulls um, through then. I'm sorry to hear it's, that. It's, it's the same thing for me. Like I usually just go up to my, my cousin's house and just drink, <laughs> but not yeah. only one because like two of them got they have COVID. Oh, um, gosh, I'm sorry. So, yeah. so I was like. Well, I guess I say I'm gonna do that, but there's no fun in that. No. Yeah. yeah the worst part nothing. is like, oh, go ahead. Uh, I I can't really say nothing. I mean, one of my family members died from COVID and everything, but they was in Atlanta. I'm so, sorry, man. Yeah. Sorry. You live, you die. I just yeah. Keep, yeah, but. Yeah, COVID is a big thing itself. COVID is so good. It's Really changing people's lives. Mm-hmm. COVID yeah. fucked everything up for everybody. Like, yeah, yeah, essentially. So, heck, I know when people over here trying to be all mad and sad about it, but just all that I can say, just keep it pushing yourself because that's only thing we can do. I mean, to, yeah. to be brut- if you want to be really like brutal about it, uh, we were kind of overdue for a pandemic anyway. Oh, we've been saying that since 2015. I've been waiting for a new plague. Right. We wouldn't say right. that for a long time. It's just the same a, thing with like natural disasters. It's like we should have had a natural disaster a long time ago. Right. 
It's just that uh, with all the advances we've made, it's made it easier to avoid these things. But at the same time, mm-hmm. it's we we the earth calls us. It's just a natural thing. Everything gets a calling sooner or later. It's happened to the dinosaurs. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And like, I don't even know how she contracted it because um, they, they still have the mask thing. So I'm I'm assuming that her work was like, hey, you always got to come in with masks. But you know, I don't know. I haven't talked to her or anything like that. Um, the, the way you catch COVID is really by touch. Yeah. No, I know how you catch it, but I'm just like, who the heck like gave it to her if that's if that's uh, the case? Right. Plus, I've also heard that COVID is like airborne as well. So I mean, eh. Wait, it's airborne now. I thought it was just yeah. simple touch, like. No, really. no, it's, it's all too. But really like, they get say, it. say um, you're walking. Go ahead, Tony. You, yeah, you, you was, probably... mine. Mine. I think mine's really basic. Think of it like the flu. No matter what, you're going to catch it. Probably you have a better way of explaining this than I do. Yeah. Think of it like the flu. It travels like, through the air. Okay, wait. Let me say something. Yeah. COVID is like if somebody didn't wash their hands and then out of nowhere the next person touched them. And yeah, something like that. Yeah. It's basically a transfer of bacteria. Huh? Say again. Say again. What? Mm-hmm. Well, I think you can you can get it on somebody or get it on a surface if you cough, but that doesn't necessarily mean that like if it, to, in, or, in order for it to be truly airborne, mm-hmm. it would have to like you would have to cough and it would actually like linger in the air for a certain number of time. Mm-hmm. I agree. Maybe that she was probably careless. It never mattered. Like, like, yeah. Like, yeah. Second or something, and that was just enough for maybe something to for her to like breathe it in or. or like it, I, I don't know how. And mind you, none of us are doctors, so all of this could be a complete lie. But uh, it's what we believe. So. Yeah, it's what I'm just going by what I'm figuring out. Yeah. Well, I mean, some uh, we we have the same rule where we're to wear mask. After uh, a month of that shit, we stopped. So I mean, people get people get lazy. They get lax, and they stop uh, washing their hands. Yeah, that's the craziest part, bro. Like, I've always washed my hands. Like ever since I was a little boy, like I scrubbed the hell out of my hand. Like they they uh, we were in science class, right? And the and the teacher was trying to teach us about germs, and he put this special dye on our hands. We were supposed to rub it in. And it was mm-hmm. invisible to the naked eye, but you can see it under the black light. He's like, now take this soap and go wash your hands to get the dye off your hands, and then we'll use the black light to see how well you did. Right. And like, it, like, it, like I thought boys were nasty, but yeah. like the girl, the girls <laughs> were even worse. Yeah. And the girls were worse because they had all these like press on nails, and they didn't want to wash around the nails, so it's like. Around the tips of their fingers and their nails, it's just like all this like germ activity that they they didn't even bother to touch. And ever since I saw that, I was like, I have got to scrub my hands like every time, <laughs> no matter what. Yeah. Dad, um, you know what? I don't know if you guys are familiar with Smosh. <laughs> with Smosh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, the girls were just joking around, and they actually um, sang a song about how nasty girls can be. And I'm just like listening to it, and I'm just and ah, just from like conversations I've had with previous girls before. I'm not saying that I do any of that nasty shit because gross, but like I seriously wonder, like. It, it was just making me think that you know girls can be just as nasty as guys. There's no oh, like they, they, they definitely can yeah. be. Oh, I, I have I have personal things? experience oh, with that. Yeah, girls are worse. I, like yeah, sometimes they can be worse, but uh, but like uh, there were like I was a quiet kid in high school. I didn't I kept my head down. I didn't want anyone mm-hmm. to bother me. I didn't want to be bothered by anybody. And there was definitely a group of girls that uh, like one day they sat next to me because I get. 
because they just knew that I wouldn't snitch on them. Right. And there, there's, there's just like four of them, and they're, and they're like openly in the classroom, talking about all this nasty stuff about boys and everything and body parts, and it's just like it was eye opening. It was like, and y'all think that boys are nasty. Jesus Christ! Like if you heard these girls' conversation. <laughs> right. No, I can imagine. Uh, I've had my fair share of like talking to people, like at my previous job. Yeah, some of the stuff. Oh I'm... yeah, it gets it gets raunchy like fast. Really? Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Well, I'm glad we've had that discussion. We went just like how I expect this month to go. We went all over the place. We just this <laughs> just exactly how yep. I expect this month to go. Falling expectations everywhere, just like this episode. Just all, were, just just a whole ball of chaos. Right. Uh, yep. I'm doing my own thing over here on the phone. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you, you actually, actually, now, you know what, my friend? But to, once I get my hands on you, I'm gonna put you in the holiday spirit, boy. <laughs> to be me. to be honest, uh, to bring it back to like the whole like fall thing, uh, if if you want to do like a like a, a call in party, I don't know if anyone here has Discord. But I think you can stream on Discord. You could, and we could have like a like like a haunted movie, like party or something. Mm. Ooh. I know perfect movie. I know a bunch of scary movies I would never watch, ever. <coughs> well, I mean, ever. That sounds like get, a... get, get me drunk enough, I'll watch anything. <laughs> that sounds like a great plan, but that's about as much time as we have for today. So, Aww. let's yeah no. You know, gotta have it. It happens. We'll see you next time. Say your goodbyes, gotta guys. Gotta keep it nice and tight. Uh-huh. <laughs> no don't laugh at that. <laughs> Y'all just don't want to leave? Well, too bad. We're leaving. I gotta go haunt my next haunting. Oh, well, uh, thank you for tuning in, and uh, I guess we'll uh, we'll talk around you later. Talk around you later. Yeah, I'm already dead. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Peace.